Um, I don't believe you're allowed on the grounds after hours. But it's three in the afternoon. Stop it. Don't tell lies. <laughs> Hello, everyone. If you have watched my most recent short, you will know what I'm about to talk about. So, I said in that short, the Hogwarts Express Mach was running very badly along the curves. It was slowing down, and it was because of too many coaches. So I needed to have one coach, or just leave it at two, and be miserable. So I think it's pretty obvious which choice I went with. And here is the coach now. Ta-da! So, like my previous Hogwarts Express videos, we're gonna take a look at the aesthetics first. And I'm gonna start by saying I am very happy with the aesthetics of this. I think I took the good traits of the original coaches and just kind of multiplied them. As you can see, this time I put some details between the two wheels, unlike I did on the previous two coaches. And this coach has the two little closed doors on the end, just like the other two coaches did. So you've probably noticed this one is a little longer than the other two coaches, and that's because I added six studs to the length of the coach, and I think it turned out very nicely. And in case you're wondering, yes, the windows and the Hogwarts sticker is on both sides. So I actually found two more of those big glass pieces that fit in there. Turns out they're not exclusive to the Hogwarts Express set alone. In fact, they're even in the Daily Bugle, but I didn't want to take them out of that. I found two of them in the greenhouse that came in the Astronomy Tower set back in 2020. In fact, that greenhouse actually contributed a lot to this, but I just mentioned the two extra windows. And for some of the window pieces in the compartments in the interior, which we're going to take a look at now. So here you can see I've taken out the wall and roof so you can see the interior, and I've taken all the characters out as well. This time, there's three compartments, and each compartment just consists of a 2x4 space with walls in between them. And I've zoomed in on this compartment here so you can see how tight of a space it is for the minifigures here. It can seat two, but uh, it's it's looking a little sus right there. But that actually is somewhat accurate to how it is on a train because the compartments can be very small. They don't even have to be holding hands. On the other side of the coach from the compartments, you have a luggage rack, and this one is a lot smaller, and it's not completely made of glass this time. That just didn't seem to fit in a Harry Potter world. This one is smaller and can only fit one, maybe two suitcases. And you can see the next to the luggage rack is the trolley cart, and it's the exact same trolley cart from the last one. I didn't make any changes to it whatsoever. And it just fits in here nicely. There's nothing attaching it. It's just sitting on tiles. and. We're gonna go ahead and take an aerial view of the coach, and you can see the compartments and a little hallway just all tiled off. And then I used a 4x6 sand blue plate to put there, so if you want to have a minifigure there, you can do that. So that is the full interior of my Hogwarts Express coach. So as far as the aesthetics, I think the roof looks very good, the interior looks very good. So I'm actually gonna give the aesthetics a 10 out of 10, because I just think this coach looks absolutely gorgeous, especially when it's running. And we're gonna take a look at that later in the video. But right now, we're going to look at the accessibility. And I'm pretty sure, right off the bat, this is gonna get a 10 out of 10 as well. Because the roof, you can take off really easily. There isn't a handle this time along the edge here because I wanted it to look better. But you can still take it off pretty easily. And it's only being held by these four studs right here. And then you can take off this wall. The other wall is not removable, but this wall is. And the wall here is also being held by four studs. So there you go, that's all the accessibility that we need to take a look at. Now my biggest concern making this coach was, is it still going to slow down the train on the curves? Now we're going to test that out. Look at that. Ah ha ha, yeah. I don't see it slowing down whatsoever from my perspective. Uh, just a little bit right there, but that's not nearly as bad as it was, and I'm very happy with it. <laughs> So now 
now that there's not so much weight pulling on the train making it slow down, I'm going to give the motorization a full score of 10 out of 10. Aesthetics, accessibility, and motorization test all got a 10 out of 10, meaning the full score now is 30 out of 30. It got 100% on the test. So that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, because if you did, you should leave a like or comment, maybe consider subscribing. So keep on building and see you later! Subscribe.